no equipment needed cardio workout. I'm Jessica Smith and I'll be your trainer and here's how this works. I've set this up so that if you get a rained out run or you're sick of the boring treadmill, you can do your cardio anytime, anywhere. So we're going to be doing three rounds of moves. If you have 15 minutes to work out today, you'll do the rounds once through. If you want to do a 30 minute cardio routine, do the rounds twice through. And if you want to go for a full 45 minutes, do all three rounds three times through in total. I'll be breaking down the moves for you so you know exactly what to do, and then when you're ready, you can go ahead and do the workout in whatever time you have. So if you're ready to get started, let's get to it. This is your down, down, up, up movement. So we're gonna begin with the feet hip width apart, and you're gonna step your back leg back behind you, bringing this hand to the floor, so you're coming down. Step your front leg back, bring this hand to the floor so you're in a full plank position, down again. Now step that back foot forward, pick up your hand, and stand all the way back up. So do it with me slowly. We come down, down, up, up. That's your move. You're gonna do one minute with this leg leading as quickly as you can, and then switch to a one minute with this leg leading. Ready? Let's try it up to tempo. Run. 
This is your high jack, low jack countdown. So for this move, you're gonna set your timer for two minutes, and we're gonna start by counting down from eight. So you're gonna do a high jack, which is just a standing jumping jack, eight times in a row. Then, from here, I want you to squat yourself down to the floor, place your hands underneath your shoulders, jump your feet back behind you, and do a toe jack. Eight times here. Quickly jump your feet back in, and go back to your high jack, but this time do seven, come down, and do seven. So you're gonna count all the way back down from eight, try as many as you can in a row for that full two minute period. If you get them all done before the two minutes is up, you can start again at that eight count countdown. That's your high and low jack. This is your lateral burpee. So for this move, we're gonna come down, put the hands underneath the shoulders, bend the knees, starting on the balls of the feet. Jump your feet back and out to the side. So I'm gonna push my feet out, keep the weight of my arms, extending the legs, landing on the balls of the feet, then jump the feet back in underneath your hips and jump out to the other side. Out and in. So you're gonna do that as quickly as you can for one minute. Here we go. Make sure to keep your weight in your arms so that those feet and legs are free to move in and out very quickly. That was your lateral burpee. This is your side switch and reach move. So you're gonna start standing with your feet about hip width apart, and you're just gonna push off the floor, switching one foot to the other, and reach your front hand across your leg. Push up and reach down as low as you can. So really use your legs to get you high up in the air as you switch one foot to the other. Ready? Let's give it a try. And if you're able to, you can reach all the way down and try the top of the floor here. Do that as quickly as you can for two full minutes. This is your climber up, climber down movement. So you're gonna start standing and you're gonna run in place, bring your knees up as high as you can for eight counts. Looks like this. Then I want you to squat down, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, jump your feet back, and do eight runs from this position. Draw your knees in as close to your chest as you can. Jump your feet back in, stand up, and repeat it. Eight counts running up, eight counts running down. Repeat it as many times as you can for two full minutes. These are your squat up and over jumps. So this is a high intensity move, really designed to spike your heart rate way up. So you're gonna be moving side to side. Make sure you have a little bit of space to move from one direction to the other. You'll start in a squat position with your feet hip width apart, sitting back into your hips. Reach your arms across the outside of your leg. Now I want you to jump to the side and swing your arms overhead so that you land with them to the other side of your body. Looks like this. So you're going up and over as many times as you can for one full minute. Ready? Let's try it. That was your squat up and over jump. And now to cool down and catch your breath, which you should need to do, just spend two minutes walking or marching in place, taking some deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, just to calm your body down and wrap up your workout.